Good morning, beautiful people. I pray everything is going well. It is another beautiful day. I know it's going to be hot, but you know, hey, we take what we can get and we move forward. So I want to speak to you today about making a decision and about having an encounter with Father. Do you want an encounter with Father? Is the first question. The second is, can you handle an encounter with the Father. And this is where I'm going. In Mark 2 and 22, Jesus talked to the disciples about new wineskin and old wineskin and wine. And if you know this story, then you know where it's going. Basically, you don't put new wine into an old skin because it's not pliable. It won't stretch. It doesn't have the ability to do so. It has lost it. So if you put new wine in an old wine skin, the wine skin is going to break and you are going to lose the wine and the wine skin. You put the new wine in a new wine skin because it's pliable and has the ability to stretch with the gases that are being made. So once it's finished fermenting, the wine will be fine and the wine skin will hold everything. So here's my question to you. Uh, like I said, do you want an encounter with the Lord? Because an encounter with God is a new direction and it requires a change in your mindset. You have to realign your thought processes. You have to see the thought patterns that are no longer working, the ones that are dysfunctional, the ones that are disjointed. You have to be able to see those and you have to make the decision to change them and to do so quickly. So you throw those out and you adapt new ones, ones that work for you. An example of that is when you have a new baby in the house. When you have a new baby, when you become a parent, you don't know what you're doing and you are hoping and praying that you are getting it right. And when you try to do something and it doesn't work, you know quickly that you need to get rid of that thought and you need a new one. You need to replace it. There is a better way to do things and you proceed in doing things that better way. That is the change. So when you have an encounter with God, you have a mindset um, already. Here's the thing. Are you going to change it? Are you going to keep doing things the way that you do them? And when you run into a brick wall, you go, mm, this is too hard. I'm not even going to bother with this. I'm going to leave this alone. Or do you go, that's not going to work. Get rid of that. How can I do this? Ask the Holy Spirit for help. Get a new idea. This works better. Do it like this and keep moving forward. Which one are you going to choose? Because if you choose the new one and you have an encounter with God, you're going to move forward. He's going to work everything out for your good because you love him and you're called according to his purpose. If you decide not to, you don't want to change. That's the thinking of this world. We are kingdom citizens. We live in two different realms, the heavenly, the spiritual, and the natural. We have laws in both that help us adapt. But the thing is, you have to understand those laws. You can't put them into action if you don't know them. So make up your mind. If you want that new encounter with the Lord, are you willing to change and move forward? Or do you say, I want the encounter. But when the work comes, you go, mm, that's too much. I can't do that. So that's our word for today. And I just wanted you to think about what decision you're going to make. And are you going to act on it? Because remember, we're not only hearers of his word. We are supposed to be doers of his word as well. Have a blessed day, family.